I should have done this long ago. I knew it. I knew that Bitcoin is a scam. I knew that I had to sell it for the best asset in the world. That is not a scam. That is not a Ponzi. And that is, that is the US dollar. Its dominance is, is obvious. And I'm selling all of my Bitcoin today for the US dollar. It is the best investment by far. And I just cannot keep denying it any, 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 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen your face. Happy April Fool's Day, my friends. I guess I'm going to have a lot less friends right now. But anyway, I'm not going to ever sell my Bitcoin. And especially for some shit like a dollar. So anyway, I just could not resist doing it. I'm doing it every single year. So if you got a small heart attack, I apologize. But anyway, I think it was fun. But today is a very important video because... The price of Bitcoin is going down a little bit. And a lot of people are starting to think, oh, it's going well, whatever. But actually, there is a reason as to why it is happening. And let me show you all the price levels and all the targets and what I'm personally doing and what I'm personally hoping for and the reasons why it's actually going down. So let's just dive straight into this. And really quickly, just by a coincidence, I did not expect this, but I was nominated in Blockchain Live Awards 2024, which again, I did not expect, but I got nominated in uh, two... Um, in two nominations basically so one is best crypto influencer and now we're currently number three and also the best crypto youtube channel which is we're currently number two uh so it would be very nice guys it would be very much appreciated for mr spot on if we could actually go down in the description of this video i'm gonna leave a link to this voting website where we can actually vote and it would be really cool if we could take first place I don't know why, but it would be really cool. I just got notified that I was nominated for those two things. So I would really appreciate your help with this. And let's win together as a community. So now quickly, let's get through the news. And let's uh, go to technicals as well today on Bitcoin. And I'll talk about my trade. And it's this right here. First of all, uh, from the news that came out on the March 29th, we've seen PCE, which is the core data for inflation for Fed. This is the primary gauge for inflation. So on 29th, yeah, we kind of are stagnating. We went to we were at 2.8, and then 2.8 right now. So nothing much has changed. We're still 0.8 percent away from the 2 percent target rate of Fed. However, the main one basically has gone from 2.4 all the way up up to 2.5. It's not huge, but nonetheless, it just shows that it is stagnating slightly for now. I mean, it did happen before right here in July. So we really want to see and monitor the situation. It did not really affect the probabilities of the Fed pivot in the coming months. But nonetheless, there's something that you need to keep uh, an eye on. Now, when it comes to the halving, and that's the reason why Bitcoin is behaving, in my opinion, the way it's behaving, because I was trying to find what are the news, what is all this fuss about, why did Bitcoin go down to 68,000 again? The thing is that we are about 19 days away from historic Bitcoin halving. Insane, huh? Block reward for miners is going to be slightly slashed in half yet again and literally within the next 19 days and again I don't need to remind you what usually happens afterwards sometimes there is some kind of a sell-off small one sometimes not at all like the third halving right here and usually we plump, pump like motherfuckers so that's what we are expecting right now and this is what the market is waiting for the reason why we actually had this correction right here is because look at the volume there is just no volume nothing is happening so when we actually had this attempted breakout to the upside with literally almost no volume um yeah it just got rejected so we just got rejected we liquidated some people who are going in with leverage like degenerates and that's just what it is and we also had this support here which actually got broken but also look at the volume it's nothing much it just looks like it wants to create a bart pattern and keep doing whatever then maybe try to break out try to break down and just liquidate a lot of people with leverage that's what it looks like again anything can happen at an instant some news can come out we can just pump or dump at an instant but what I'm personally looking for right now let me get to the point of the trade itself what I'm looking at right now what I want to see honestly right now is going to support the previous narratives that I've been transmitting to you guys for the last few months and probably even years at this point and subscribe hit that notification bell if you're bringing it to this channel so Technically, very important support. We can even draw the support line somewhere right here. So it's like 69, 69K uh, is very important for us. I mean, this order block is very, very strong. So if we were to lose it, or we have such a strong one, 67. If we were to lose that, 65. And lastly, the 60K area is what we really 
I'm hoping for us to go down there. Let me explain exactly why. Because, well, you know, this would be a very nice healthy correction and to kind of devastate people before the halving comes and before the real pump comes so that we actually kick people out. But this would also look nice on the chart itself if we just do some kind of, you know, this kind of consolidation, maybe a little bit lower. And then finally, the actual post halving pump. So that's that would look absolutely beautiful. And oh, you know why it also would look quite beautiful? For very simple reason. Again, these are all just technicals. But on Ethereum, this is what, as you might remember, this is what we are primarily interested in right now. We actually had this beautiful wedge that turned into a very nice squeeze here. We broke above, but unfortunately also with quite a low volume. I was looking at it and I was like, nah, very, very weak, unfortunately. Again, the volume could come in at any point, but for now it is looking quite weak. So therefore, it could look just a little bit like a fake out. We could possibly go down right here in the area of like 3400, then 3200 ish, and the, finally the 3k with a wick. This is what I'm hoping for because if we go down to like 60k, 58k on Bitcoin, which is not a guarantee, but that's what I need to scale my trade further for my $1 million to $10 million trading challenge. So finally start showing some real profits. And if we would have just wick below this liquidity here to just to grab it a bit lower right here, somewhere in this vicinity, which would look absolutely beautiful, maybe as a manipulation, you know, people say, oh, it's manipulated. But that's what we want to see. For me, why that is, is because I still have my $1 million Ethereum trade is still open. And the funding rate, I mean, look, the funding rate is just crazy. But again, so once it start, starts pumping, we don't really care about the funding rate much. It's the reason why I want the price to go down because I still have so many limit orders right here for another $1 million all the way down to 2500 per Ethereum. So as you can see right here, so this is where I want to scale this trade to 2 million, possibly to 3 million, because I know I know I understand very well what is happening. I understand very well we are, where we are standing right now. I mean, look at it. It's freaking obvious. Unless black swan events come along, whatever correction we see is just generational wealth creation opportunity, in my opinion. So if it were to come a nice correction, it would be one of the last ones. And this would be the moment to degen in again, not financial advice, but that's what I'm personally going to be doing. And that's what I'm already doing. And that's what I've been showing it to you guys for so long. And remember that you also can, if you want to do automatic copy trading, you can do it over on Bybit, copying my accounts, um, Crawlo trades and copy and um, Crawlo high risk. And for that, you need a Bybit account. So, and you can also claim up to $30,000 in initial deposit bonuses using my link to Bybit down description of this video. And you will need an account that you create using my link if you want to actually go to copy Crawlo trades com also link down in the description to actually automatically copy my trades if you just go directly to bybit it will not let you do it and you will miss out on some insane profits so anyway that's all i wanted to share with you guys so you relax even if we have a correction treat it as an insane opportunity and certainly check out this quick tutorial as to how to trade bitcoin with proper risk and money management and sorry for the april april fools i love you all but i just had to do it i do it every year and i got your blood going on this monday have an amazing week and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye